small bean. So this is a very traditional thing for people to have for breakfast on the way to work in Thailand. It's pork and there's like lots of bits of pork fat in there as well which make it really juicy and tasty. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good! This is one of Thailand's most revered street foods. Sticky, fatty, char-grilled pork skewers and khao niu, sticky rice. Oh my goodness, this is the street food I dream of when I'm not in Thailand. Now it might look like just pork skewers and rice, but it's not. It's quite a bit of technique here. Let's go through it together, my friends. Let's make mo bing. I'm going to start off with the sticky rice first of all. Now there are a lot of kind of like Thai in the know kind of tricks to making the perfect sticky rice. So I'm going to run you through it so that you too can also have the perfect sticky rice. Now I have here some Thai sticky rice. It's sometimes often sold as glutinous rice as well. So that's what you're looking for. And you'll notice compared to like regular jasmine rice, so the grains look more opaque here. And the first little trick is that you need to soak it overnight before you cook it. So here's one I started soaking yesterday and you can see that the rice really has soaked up some of that water. The water's a little bit cloudy, the rice has kind of plumped up a little bit. Now you can drain the rice into a sieve or a colander. Then to cook the rice, I'm using a very traditional setup here. I have like a conical shaped steamer basket and this is a special pot that kind of snugly fits the basket and this lid here as well. Now you could also do this with just a flat bamboo steamer over the top of a regular pot of boiling water. But this is gonna give you the best texture if you can find uh, this little setup here. Okay, take the lid off and then line the basket with a very light cloth, like a cheese cloth or a muslin cloth or a light tea towel. Place the rice into the cloth and then fold over the tops of the cloth to completely cover the rice. Put a lid on top and then steam that for 10 minutes. Now I wanna kind of flip the rice over so that it cooks evenly. So use the steamer basket to kind of juggle and flip the rice over. If you're doing this in a flat steamer basket, you could just use a spatula to kind of like flip the rice parcel over. Lid on and steam for another 10 minutes. The final trick to perfect sticky rice is to take it out of the steamer now. Be careful here because the steam is really hot. So use tongs if you need to. Pop it onto a tray, open up that cloth and then tip the rice out onto the tray. Use a spoon to kind of spread it out a little bit. This is gonna help like make things evenly sticky and make sure we don't have like one big sticky clump of sticky rice. You want things sticky, but not like firm and clumped together, if you know what I mean. If you're in Thailand, you might have one of these cute little rice baskets. I've just lined mine with some banana leaf that actually gives it a really nice flavor and stops it from sticking to the basket also. So you can put your sticky rice into the basket and that is our cute little sticky rice box. We'll save that for when our pork is done. Pork skewers. Okay, so I know that if you're not in the know, you might think this is just literally about marinating some pork and popping it on a skewer. Not really the case. There is a little bit more to it than that. You need two different bits of the pork. You need pork loin, which are these big pieces here, and then you also need pork back fat. So that is the very traditional fat that we use in this particular skewer. So take your pork loin first and you wanna try and slice it as thinly as possible. In fact, this first slice probably isn't thin enough. I want you to go really thin, more like this kind of thin, where you can almost see through the pork. That's gonna keep your pork really lovely and tender. You'll see what I mean later on. Once you've sliced your pork loin, just pop that into a bowl and set that aside for later. Now we're gonna get into the pork back fat. Take the pork back fat and slice it a bit thicker than your pork loin pieces and pop that into a separate bowl. For the marinade, you want some garlic. Now I always pop my garlic into my mortar and then just crush it a little bit so it makes it really easy to take the skins off. Add in some coriander root so you can just chop the root end off and a little bit of the stem as well. Then pop in some coriander seeds and some white peppercorns. Use your pestle to pound this into a rough-ish kind of paste. This is the sort of situation you're looking for here. Spoon that out onto your pork and then the rest of the ingredients are very simple. You just need some palm sugar. Now my palm sugar is really nice and soft so I can just add that straight in there. If yours comes in a big block you might need to just shave it very finely with a knife so that it will dissolve in the marinade. Add fish sauce, Thai black soy sauce or ketchup manis, either one is fine. Vegetable oil, salt, a little bit of cornstarch 
and some coconut milk. Now use your hands to mix all of this together. You might need to like squish that palm sugar to make sure that it dissolves and then set that aside for at least an hour or so. Let all those flavors make friends in there. To start off with, you wanna make sure that you soak your bamboo skewers. And if you're using metal skewers, you don't have to. This is to make sure that your skewers don't burn when they're on the grill. And start with a piece of fat. Now take a piece of pork and thread it onto the skewer like this. You don't just wanna shove it on any old way because then the pork kind of like clumps up and gets really hard and not very tender. This way the pork stays really lovely and tender and in nice thin slices. Do a couple of pieces of pork and then fat and then another couple of pieces of pork and that is your pork skewer. To cook the skewers, there are multiple different ways to do this. I'm gonna go more traditional and use a charcoal grill, but you could use a frying pan, a grill plate, a regular gas barbecue, whatever you like. The charcoal does give it a nice flavor though. Grill the skewers two or three minutes each side, and I'm actually gonna base my skewers with a little bit more coconut milk. I've made this nifty little brush out of some pandan leaves kind of adds a bit more flavor. Also kind of looks fun too. Once your skewers are cooked, and I have to admit mine are like slightly charred. I kind of like them charred, but you know, typically on the street, they might not be so dark, but whatever. I think the caramelization makes it taste really good. You can also use scissors to kind of like snip off any bits that are a little charred, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think it's delicious. Now here we are, we're ready to go. I've got my little basket of sticky rice here. I'm gonna place my pork skewers down and you can just see how like sticky and glossy they are, which is amazing and just what you want. Oh, it's so good, it smells so good. Mm. Wow, that pork is so tender. It just like melts in your mouth and the marinade makes everything kind of just a little bit sweet, a little bit salty, a little bit of your sticky rice. And there you go, my friends, morphing, a very, very common, popular, favorite kind of Thai street snack, often really eaten for breakfast in the morning. Now this is my kind of breakfast, I have to say. <laughs>